Hey, hey, I'm back. It's been quite wet here in Queensland, to say the least. The deluge has finally stopped, but yeah, there's a few casualties. Joys of having a car build that's outdoors. But today I'm gonna to start putting this beast back together. In the last video I did the roll cage for it, which turned out pretty sick. Made some sweet floor plates for it, and I got some new stuff. So I got my welded diff. It's out of a 318i auto, 3.91 ratio. I just did a quick video of that. Some new adjustable rear control arms, which are a bit thicker than the old ones. These are the old ones, just like a pair of tongs. And so with these, I just set a base adjustment with them based off the original ones, just so as a starting point. Like it'll still need to get an alignment, but that's just will set us up the closest to where it was. I just ended up getting some new discs because the other ones look like they came off the Titanic. Got all the bushes pressed out and put some new poly bushes all around the subframe and for the diff mounts there. And to tie it all together, I got this sweet dog bone. So this awesome bit of gear is a rear strut brace from a company called DS Works. Um, found the guy just floating around all the E46 Facebook forums. Um, and he was really good. I'll put a link in the description for his gear. They're really good quality, really efficient. He gives good deals. He's great with communication and he'll send stuff to pretty much any part of the world. So I'm gonna be fitting that up today. And that also ties in with the subframe to try and reinforce everything that there's a little bit more. It's a bit hard to see, but you can see that that lines up with the two rear points on the subframe. So that's what we'd be tying it through the floor. But first I've got to get this whole back end back in. Time to hook in. All right, finally back on terra firma. So it's been here for months, maybe six months. It's finally back on its wheels. Question now is will it start? Put some fresh fuel in it, but the fuel tank has been sitting out in the weather. It's been covered up, but let's see what goes on. Finally got it running. Maybe the fuel pump's on its way out. The only way I seem to get it started is if I leave the ignition on for an amount of time and then it seems to start, otherwise it just runs for a second and stops. But it still idles pretty average. But anyway, that's a story for another day. That's not what we're here for. We're here to fit this. So it makes it pretty easy. It comes with all the instructions. Whoop. And all the tooling to do it all. So you get this with it. So this, So this goes in where the subframe bolt goes in, hole all the way through it to work as a guide. And they give you a big long drill bit. So you thread this into the subframe and then you can run the drill bit up all the way through. I already did all this previously when I was doing the underside of the subframe. And this is the end result. So that's the big long threads that come with this kit that come all the way through the floor. 
So using that bolt with the hole in it, you just drill all the way up through the floor. And then that center hole, they also provide a hole saw that perfectly cuts out the section that the brace actually mounts to. So it's all nice and neat. But I ended up just cutting out the whole panel because mine was quite damaged underneath. Hence why I ended up welding some plates on here. So I plated the top of this. So if yours isn't all damaged, you shouldn't have to cut this whole section out. However, it's quite common for them. There's three spot welds under this plate that I welded on that commonly break if there's any damage to the subframe under there. So you probably likely will have to cut the whole lot out anyway. done. It's actually pretty easy. If you're not welding any of the plates, drilling up through the bottom is probably the only hardest bit about it. Alright, time to take it for a spin and make sure everything's all good. All in all, not too bad. Everything held together. Goes all right, actually, this thing. But yeah, I do have some running issues. So you'll probably be getting another video from me about uh, trying to diagnose this running issue. I'm getting misfires and non-starts. But hey, I bought a 20-year-old BMW. What do you expect? Oh, I just can't wait to test this thing out on the track. But anyway, I hope this was helpful to you. I'll put links in for the strap brace and all the other parts. And I'll see you next time.